Hello friends, this is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I'm excited to be here with you today. We are using the North Pole Mischief stamp set and I've got four pieces of six by six Granny Apple Green cardstock here. I have 10 pieces of Celebrate Everything designer series paper cut at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. I have 10 pieces of basic white thick cardstock cut at two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then I have four more pieces of that Celebrate Everything cut at two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Now, uh, we're gonna take each piece of this Granny Apple Green cardstock and score it at three inches on each side and then on the diagonal. And then we're gonna score again at two and a half inches just on one square. You'll see that here in just a second. So we're gonna line it up at two and a half not on the diagonal. You want this, you want one of the full squares, and then you're gonna score from the bottom up to the three inch. So just to that score line, okay? We're gonna do four of these. Now I'm gonna do this whole process again for you so you can see it two times. I'm not gonna do it all four times because I feel like that's a little redundant. Then you're going to trim away this excess square down here where you did that two and a half inch score mark. Okay. So we're all we're doing is trimming away and we're going to cut at a pretty serious diagonal to get this so that this will be able to fold. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So you're going to fold away so that you've got a peak then in and then in on the squares. Okay. So when you're finished, it should look like this two peaks coming in and then everything else is a valley. Then you're going to take your tear and tape adhesive. You need a very strong adhesive for this and add it to your little tab piece here. And then we're going to remove the backing. I love using my take your pick tool. This tool is only like 10 bucks and it is the handiest tool I'll probably I have in my craft room. And then we're going to just wrap this around and glue it shut on the back. Now you have to pay extra attention to if your tab piece went over that little diagonal. Okay. That diagonal score line you see there at the bottom. If your tab piece goes over that your box or your card is not going to close correctly. So you just got to go in with your scissors and trim it off. If you didn't trim enough in the first place, does that make sense? And then it'll fold down like this. Okay. Now we're going to make three more of these. I'm going to make one more on video with you so that you can see how I did it one more time because I feel like this is a little bit tricky and sometimes seeing it a couple times helps. So we're scoring at three, turning, scoring at three, then we'll score on the diagonal just once and then at that two and a half inch mark on a full square. Okay, so... After we get all of these scored, we're going to assemble them. And then after we assemble them, we're going to add all of our decorative pieces. Okay. So when, first of all, let me back up. Okay. There's a free project sheet over on my blog. So do not stress about writing all these measurements down. I've never made a carousel card before and I made a prototype and then I made this one. They're really not that hard. So if I can do it, you can do it. There is a project sheet over on my blog in the description below this video, which I always tell you guys this, literally everything lives there. There is a link to the blog, which has a supply list where you can purchase products from me. It also has the class, or not the class, excuse me, the host code for the month um, in the description box below the video. There are shopping links, join my team links, all the links for all the things always live below the video in the description box, okay? So my free project sheets, just as an FYI, are not full PDF tutorials. Why? Because I'm doing a whole video for you. So how redundant is it for me to write an entire PDF tutorial with photos when I've done an entire video, right? So the project sheet is just meant to give you the concept. It gives you the measurements, the score marks, some photos, and a little bit of reference material as to how to put it together. So here's all four finished, and then we're gonna glue them back to back. Now, I want you to notice that 
the diagonal score marks are at the bottom. Okay, this is very important. If you do not do this this way, your, your card will not fold closed. So on two sides, there are diagonal score marks. And on one side, it's a solid square. You do not want your solid squares to exist on the bottom. Okay, they need to be attached to each other. So here... You can see I am removing this tear and tape adhesive and I'm going to glue this panel to another panel that is facing up. So that's why I put all of these in order the way I want them before I adhered them. I didn't just like start putting glue on. I put them in the direction that I wanted them to go and then I added the glue. Then you're going to very carefully line them up and make sure they close nice and then go to the next one okay now the last one you will not adhere because you want your card to open and close so if you adhere the last one it's not going to open and close you'll see what i what i mean here in just a minute i sped this video way up because this video was originally like 45 minutes long not really because this card is difficult. It just has a lot of steps and it has a lot of cutting and it has a lot of ad adhesives where like I have to remove the backing and that's a little bit time consuming. So it just made the video really long. So when you're all done, this is what you will have. Okay. You will have this card base that folds up and around on each side and then you can add all your pieces so here i'm adding all of the white um basic white two and seven eight by two and seven eight squares all the way around there's 10 of them there's 10 of them because there's enough for the front and back of the card too so that when the card is closed it has some sort of decorative element on the front and the back you wouldn't if you don't want to do that you could cut eight of these but i wanted to do that so i cut 10. all right and then the rest of this is just decorations so that gives us some time for story time if you're new here first thing i want to say is welcome and i hope you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up but also Every Saturday I do story time, which is basically me sharing things that are going on in my life, things that are coming up. And if that's not something you would enjoy, we understand you can mute it, but we have a community here and we are all friends. And if I don't do story time, I get yelled at is what happens. I get nasty messages. No, really, not really nasty, but I do have people who reach out and say, uh, excuse me, excuse me, why no story time today? I didn't appreciate that. So we do story time on Saturdays and we hope that you enjoy it as well. So last week wasn't much of a story time. It was basically me just getting back into the swing of things and telling you that we had had COVID and that we are recovered and we're doing great and everybody's fine. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So moving forward, um, what is happening? Okay, let me tell you what's happening. For five months, I have taken my daughter to swim team every day, five days a week. And in beginning in June, she had um, swim meets on Saturdays that were at least half of the day. Right here, by the way, I just need to tell you on the card, you need to cut all of these in half. So these are two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, and I'm just cutting them in half at the diagonal, and then they go on each side of the little triangles at the bottom of your card. Okay, so we've been doing swim since March, and my daughter's been swimming since she was four, so this is not new for us. However, because of COVID, we had two years, well, one year where we didn't swim at all, 2020, and then in 2021, it was like very hit and miss and we only had like two or three swim meets. It was kind of chaotic. So this was my first year back into the normal swim routine. And y'all, it nearly kicked my butt. I am telling you, I am so done. I am so done. 
I am tired, 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 tired. Because our we don't live in an area that's like where things are close together. Every, where I live, everything is a drive. So it's a 20 minute drive to her swimming pool where she swims. And we have to be there at 7 a.m., which means we have to leave our house no later than 6.40 a.m., which means I have to be up at 6 a.m. all summer long. And let me just tell you that summertime is the time I look forward to not being in that rush, that hurry, that get up and go phase of life. Um, So it's been a little bit of a struggle for me. And this is just true mom talk, okay? I don't know if this makes me a bad mom. I don't really care. I don't really care if anybody thinks it makes me a bad mom because I'm complaining about this a little bit. Um, I'm just telling you that this is the truth for me. It's tiring. It's a lot of work. And this year they roped me into being the computer person for the swim meets. Now, luckily, I only have to do that at at home swim meets or so I was told. We're going to get into that. And so I was like, okay, I can handle it. I've really coasted these last several years um, and gotten away with not doing a lot, to be honest, as far as just, I've been a swim mom, but I haven't like participated in the things for the team. And I've always felt a little bit of guilt over that because really, if you're going to be a long-term parent on something that needs volunteers, I mean, we always, always volunteer at every swim meet. Don't get me wrong. We've been tried and true about that. But what I haven't done is participate like in the board or anything like that. Well, there's a reason. So I don't like conflict and I don't like organizing things with other people. Okay. Because and you all know if you've ever done anything, by the way, look how cool this card is. We're not done. We have more decorating to do. Don't you worry. Um, but if you've ever done anything with more than two people, you know what it's like. You have to take everybody's opinion into account and then opinions are like, you know, what's everybody's got one. I'm not going to cuss on my channel, but you know what I'm talking about. So you get all these people together, then that everyone's got an opinion about how something should be done. And then people are arguing and then, oh, I don't like her. And then, and I just hate it. I hate it. So I've always like, as I've gotten older, I try to avoid scenarios that put me in that position because I really do hate it. So long story short, I'm like, fine, I'll be the computer person. And basically that entails me like running the timers at the swim meets when the swim meet is at our pool. When I go to other, the other pools for other swim meets, we don't have to do that part. Okay. So, cause their team does it. So whoever's hosting the swim meet has to run the computer system. So there's two of us that run it. And I really like the lady that does the other portion of it. She's awesome. And I don't mind the job, except that you're very tied to the chair. Like I can't even get up and go to the bathroom unless I have somebody else that's sitting there that can like monitor things while I go pee. That is a little rough for me because I drink a lot of water and coffee when I'm going to swim meets. And so I have to pee a lot. I don't have a very, uh, you know, I've got a mom bladder, right? So that's that. Okay, by the way, back to the card. We're coloring all these images. I'm coloring Poppy Parade for the ribbon, Pool Party for the little sign, Parakeet Party for the present. I think I color the cat in gray granite and the dog in crumb cake. Okay, so anyway, back to the computers. So this the swim meet for this weekend as I'm recording this, I'm, it's the day before it is going to be in Sacramento. And, um, I have to run, I have to help run the computers and this is for the championship thing. So it's a two day swim meet. It's all of the swim teams and I have to apparently help with this. And I am a little like perturbed because 
when I signed up for this nonsense, I was told I would only have to do at home swim meets and I wouldn't have to do anything else. Now I'm finding out that not only am I going to be running the computers or helping to run the computers for championships, that next year me and my friend Sarah, who runs the computers as well, are going to literally run championships. And I'm like, wait, 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 what? What? I did not. This is not what I signed up for. But it's too late. I've been voted into the position and now I'm stuck. You know, these are the kinds of things, people, that just like, grr. So, and I want to just be very crystal clear that I do not mind helping at all because this is something that's very important to my daughter. It's very important to us. She has been part of it for years and it's not that I don't want to help. It's just, I really didn't want to be this involved. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting over that. I'm, I'm wrestling with that and dealing with that and getting over it. I colored the fish in pale papaya. The cat is in crumb cake. The mistletoe is in part parakeet party. And the water bowl is in pool party. I don't know what color the brown is. And then gray granite for the bottom. Now we're just going to add all of our dimensionals and put this on. I didn't record myself fussy cutting these out because I didn't think you needed to see that, except that I cut apart the cat and the dog. So you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, so anyway... Bottom line, this weekend, as you're watching this, I'm going to be sitting at a swim meet running computers and doing that all weekend. So we have friends, Carrie and Rob, that daughter also swims and that we really enjoy their company. So I was just, before I started recording this, I was just coordinating with her because all of our kids' fair entries for like the fair that's coming up next weekend have to be put together and taken to the fair building on, guess what, Saturday, while we're all at a swim meet. So her husband is going to stay behind. He's going to take all the fair entries over to the fair to get them put into the, uh, enter them. And because there are things like photos that the kids have taken, things they've made, blah, 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 to enter in the fair. But they only accept entries from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday. So he's going to stay behind and take care of that. So I volunteered my husband to be the muscle and bring the pop-up canopy so that we could all sit together. Uh, me and my friend Carrie, her daughter Bree, and then my daughter and my husband. And so then I said... On top of that, because, you know, I have a food thing. If you don't know me very well, you may not know. I'm kind of a foodie. I really like food and I really like different foods and I really like homemade food and I like growing food. So tonight, I think I'm going to task myself with making a cranberry cream cheese turkey roll up. Another roll-up that my kid and my husband will eat. Look how cute this is, by the way. Back to the card. So cute. And then maybe some baked goods to take to the swim meet. So that's what I'm up to this weekend. There's more to this story, but we'll get to that in another video. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing weekend and week whenever you're watching this. I just want to tell you, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you need any of the products you saw, you can shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. Links are in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.